Thank you for joining me. This is Flying by Mavic in the cupboard, uh, which I now use to do all my videos in. The um, DJI Osmo Action Camera and the GoPro have one thing in common. You can't currently use them as a webcam. At least I don't think you can use... Well, I can't use this one as a webcam. And I can go out and buy a webcam, but I've already got cameras like this and this that you know I'd want to be able to use. Thankfully, um, a little bit of software I came across will allow me to do that. This is my DJI Action Osmo. And there you go. It's now a webcam being used in OBS Studio. How did I do this? I'll show you after the titles. First thing you're going to need, of course, is the actual program. It's from this website, goprotowebcam.com. The main page tells you all about the product supported. When you click on download the driver, you will find that there is a charge of €14.99. Euros. I think it's a fair price for the fact that the, uh, it does what it does. Now, uh, there is a 32-bit and a 64-bit version. That's the files that I got when I downloaded. Uh, and obviously, if you're using a 32-bit system, I'm assuming you use the 32-bit driver. And if you're using a 64-bit system, you would use the 64-bit driver. I've already downloaded them and I've already installed them, so I'll take you through how to set them all up now. So once you've installed the software, you'll find an icon on your desktop that says Virtual Webcam. We'll run that. And you'll notice I've already chosen the Osmo Action over RTMP. This is your server URL, which you'll need to enter into the app to make a note of that, and then click on Start Server. Once you've done that, we'll now go over to the DJI Mimo app, and I'll show you how to set that up. Run the app, and you want to click on Connect to the Osmo. Make sure your Osmo is turned on, of course. Now, the Osmo connects via Bluetooth, first of all, and then joins on to the Wi-Fi of the action of the Osmo. Takes a moment. Once it's connected, swipe across the bottom to where it says live stream. Choose RTMP. When I tap on live stream settings, it'll get the settings for it. Might take a moment. Okay, once it's in there, you can see connecting to my home broadband. And then connected to it. You must also make sure that your laptop or your PC, whichever one you're using, is also connected to the same uh, Wi-Fi source or uh, internet connection. Here is where you would enter your RTMP you found in the virtual webcam tool. Resolution and bitrate, I just leave it as it is. Tap on start live stream and you should hear your Osmo make a bleep and start to show live. What you need to do is simply then is click on start for the webcam. Then what we'll do is we'll launch OBS Studio which is down here. And if I now activate uh, the webcam you'll now see that it's not quite working properly yet so what we need to do is just go into the settings for it and I sometimes find that if I just swap from integrated back to virtual webcam uh, there we go webcam is now working as you can see perfectly easy as that I did try the hero 4 that I showed you earlier um, but unfortunately it says officially not supported along with the GoPro hero 4 session I did try to set it up, I did follow the guide, I couldn't get it to work. So please do ensure that the camera you want to use is in the list and uh, there are some instructional videos as well for the cameras on this particular website. But that's it, using your DJI Osmo Action camera as a webcam, sorted. Thanks very much for watching, take care and as always, fly safely.